Dennis will come up to me often and say, I've been told I need to work until I'm 70, or I know I'm gonna to need to save at least $6 million. Where does this come from? First question I ask for the people that say I need six million saved is that in today's dollars or is that in future dollars? A hundred percent of the time I hear, I don't know. Well, these numbers can come from brokers. They can come from certified financial planners and CPAs who usually know their business, so I tend to believe them. Uh, they can come from your brother, Bob. They can come from just the street, other dentists that you talk to, who knows? But you need to have some analysis some software or Monte Carlo simulation software behind it to give you an idea, is this really the case? If they can't provide the math, it doesn't count. Actually, many doctors will be able to retire at age 70 or before just because of the actuary, actuarial standards. You're not gonna live as long. Also, those that wanna retire between ages 65 and 67 often need to have between two and $2.5 million that's including the sale of your practice, but not your primary residence. That was worked out in my retirement number in nine minute video. So you can take a look at that. That at least establishes the basic math. Beyond that, you can go to online software, which is much more sophisticated and nail it down much closer. Well, how do you get there to retirement? What's the best method? First of all, savings is by far the most important portion of how you get to retirement. 15% per year over a long period of time, 20 years plus, will normally get you there. Also, please don't mark in time, market time. Don't try to get in and out of the market and time it. Your growth is gonna be probably about half, according to uh, academic studies, than if you just buy and hold. Always use funds with low expenses. They should be below 0.5% for expenses for a given fund. Do not go with active management. It's been shown over time academically to not beat passive investing. And that's not even taking into account the higher expenses. So it does not make sense to use active management. A lot of brokers say they can beat the market. They can't over any long period of time. Also make sure to buy the whole market. That means US stocks, including large cap, small cap, growth, value, international, including emerging markets. Also have a significant amount of your portfolio in bonds. That includes U.S. Treasuries, uh, high yield, corporate. Using these steps, your chances of getting to retirement at an early age are much higher.